time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. So follow me on Twitter too. And it's time to get this serious review started. y'all disney plus has a new fun series dropping this friday april what 16th this friday already april 16th and it's called big shots it stars john stamos you know john stamos jess uncle jesse from fuller house and full house both of them and it also has yvette nicole brown which i remember her she wasn't she in the lady in the tramp the disney plus movie lady in the tramp and it's a cute one. Let me tell you what it's about. Some players, parents, and other faculty at the school. So the story revolves around Coach Marvin Korn, who's played by John Stamos, and he's taken a job at Westbrook, which is a private high school where he'd be coaching girls basketball. Now, Korn's taken this job after being ousted by the NCAA for throwing a chair. You know, the college basketball. And Principal Sherilyn Thomas, who's played by Yvette Nicole Brown, decides to, to give him a chance at Westbrook. Now, Coach Korn does not waste any time getting down to business. However, this causes a stir with players, parents, and other faculty at the school. Now, Disney Plus lately has been trying to corner the market on these sports series. You know, it just came out with the new The Mighty Ducks Game Changers, which is based off the Mighty Ducks movies played by, with Emilio Estevez, and it centers around, like, hockey. Well, now they got a basketball one with this Big Shots. And I'm going to tell you, they've been nailing it with this. It's fun. It's family-friendly. And let me, John Stamos is really the shining star in this. I'm going to tell you, he has won me over. I think he has just nailed this character. Like, he has that tough image when he comes in. He don't play around. He tells the girls this and has them, you know, practicing and, and don't even take none of their bull. And that's a lot from coming from some teenage girls not to take their bull. I mean, he's so harsh sometimes, though. It kind of makes you cringe a little bit. Like, he told this one girl she needs to lose weight. I mean, weight shaming people in this day and age you know that could get you canceled john stamos you better be careful over there yes, it has the messages of teamwork and working together but i mean they also have a lot of diversity in this they have a lot of uh they have a character who's even lgbtq and she kind of has a crush on another member which is interesting you know the inclusiveness they they brought to the series because that's real life that's middle school and high school you can ask me because i have a middle school and high school or i know shots does not shy away from the hard topics like i mentioned the lbgq but also it takes on the sports it takes on the sports industries in the institution like the education institutions you've heard like college football they're like oh all the faculty all they care about is the college football because it brings in the money and this well this is even discussed in this series i was able to watch the first three episodes I enjoyed it. I can't wait to see where it goes. Like I said, John Stamos is great, but it's also, you know, his interaction with the others. The the principal, Yvette, Nicole Brown, who's awesome, and his interaction, his assistant coach, his interaction with the girls, and also, you know, he's a father in this. And that part is just, although he has this tough exterior, I'm just melting. I'm melting his relationship with his daughter. So let's get down to the parents' guide and which parents should look out for in this series. Now, Disney Plus has made it a mission to keep everything on their platform PG-13 rating or lower, PG G, rated G. So you're not going to get too much kind of profanity. We do have some A words and some dams in this one. I, Like I said, I watched the first three episodes and I heard two A words. So you're going to get a little bit... But it's not going to be too harsh or really extreme profane. As far as mature content, I mean, they have some characters drinking alcohol. Not the kids, but the adult characters, you know. They'll have little jokes in there about taking out taking out a teacher, which could be kind of alarming for some. And also, I mentioned kind of the weight shaming thing that, you know, that, that can trigger some kids these days and age. So that, as far as, you know, mature content, that's about as all you're going to 
the harshest you're going to get. PG-13 on the Disney Plus platform comes out this Friday, April 16th. Check it out. Let me know what y'all think. If you've seen it, if you're watching this and had seen it already, let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, and all that. Till next time, y'all.